Freaks. And now it's time to meet those ever so clever chaps, the Brainy Greeks. Good evening. I'm Aristotle, ancient Greek philosopher. And I'm Archimedes, inventor, physicist, mathematician, engineer. And big head. <laughs> <laughs> You know the caveman gave us work. Roman soldiers built the road. Egypt's pyramids were buildings at their peak. But when we talk of great invention, it's important that we mention a special race who really were unique. Plato and Pythagoras, both of them did stagger us. Socrates, he showed such great technique. Was there ever, ever, ever such a bunch of chaps so clever? If you want to know the answer, ask, ask a, a Greek. Greek. I'm a Greek. I'm a Greek. We are all so magnifique. We invented sundials, catapults and bricks. Chic and sleek, so to speak. Our success was not a freak. But working hard was how we got our kicks. We created the first siren. And the first soldering iron. The Olympics. Well, that was quite a busy week. So the next time that you go, go to the toy shop for a yo-yo. Let, Let them, them know, no, it was thought of by a Greek. We are Greek, we are Greek. Nowadays, you'd call us geek. But in ancient times, people thought of us as tough. Our physique was not weak. Cos when people gave us cheek, we invented boxing and other violent stuff. Fiery flamethrowers for battles. Pinhole cameras, baby rattles. rattles. Is there nothing they can't do? I hear you shriek. So next time you take a shower, or you see a lighthouse tower, just remember they were thought of by a Greek. Stage acoustics, ancient harps, music sounds of flats and sharps, central heating at your doorstep, spin syringes, lamps and forceps, fire extinguishers, thermometers, coin dispensers and odometers, pontoon bridges, pistons, pulleys, parchment, prisms, puppets, dollies, shock absorbers, drafts and maps. We were oh such brainy chaps. Anchors, chewing gum, the list does never cease. Spinning tops, the dice, the crane, do we have to ask again? Did they come from Spain? No, no they, they came from Greece. Horrible history.